Understanding Intermediate Accounting, the Completed Contract Method. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our email on our phone and our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep, where we've also linked in all of our accounting videos. The Completed Contract Method, why do we need a special method for this? Well, the method is designed in the first bullet point for long-term construction projects. The reason this type of work is an issue is, is that we are going to bill the client and we are going to receive payments over time. That's one unique issue. So you can imagine taking five years to build a building, ten years to build a dome stadium, whatever it might be. And another calculation that we're going to see throughout the example is, we're going to take the total profit multiplied by the percentage of the project that we've completed and that's going to be our profit that we recognize as income, as revenue in a particular year. That's going to be the formula. Another issue we're going to see is that, in my example, the contract price is fixed. So if you're going to do a project for $100 and the, pro and the expenses go up from $50 to $60, you're going to have a lower profit because the revenue is capped, it's fixed, it won't go any higher. Now that's not always true in contracts. In fact, most contracts have contingencies for adding costs on, how they get added on, who signs off on them, and what the amount can be. We're going to have an account we haven't seen in accounting before called Construction in Progress. And the Construction in Progress is an asset account where we're going to post two things the construction expenses related for the job, and the gross profit. And at the end when the job is completed, we're going to zero out two accounts, the construction in progress account and the account where we were billing the client. I'm going to flip over to my example here and you'll see we have a contract of 1.6 million. And in 2010 we spent $400,000 we think it's going to cost six hundred thousand to finish which means a million dollars if I take one point six million the price of the job less the million dollar total cost I estimate I have a profit of six hundred thousand dollars if during two thousand and ten I finish forty percent of the job our accounting rules say that the gross profit I recognize is six hundred thousand times forty percent and you can see that in the cell right there during 2010, I billed 300000 and I collected 270000 So let's see what happens in our journal entries. First of all, we're going to debit construction progress and credit cash for all the stuff that we bought to work on the project in 2010, like materials and labor. We're going to make an entry for billing the client, debit accounts receivable credit, this building, this billings construction in progress. We got paid $270,000, and as we always said, when you're doing journal entries, the first question you should ask yourself is, did anything happen to cash? In this case, we got in $270,000. We reduced our receivable two seventy. dollars And here's our last account that's a little complicated. Here's our construction expenses, which are the same thing, same amount as up here, 400000 Construction today. Construction in progress gets debited for 240000 which is the gross profit. And the way we found the gross profit is total profit times percentage complete equals gross profit for 2010. That's where I'm getting the debit right here. And the credit is the revenue that we recognize. And again, the way we find that out is the contract price times the percentage we completed for the year. So if I click on the cell and I go up, we see that it's D2, the total contract amount, times the percentage complete. Now it gets tricky in later years because in later years we're going to have to back out numbers that we've already recognized so we don't double count. 2011, our total construction so far for 010 and 011 is 825. We think it's going to cost 275 to complete. Total costs have gone up. 
They're now 1.1 million from a million dollars. If I take completed contract less my new total cost, I get a total profit of 500,000. We're 75% complete in 2011, which means cumulatively in total we're 75% complete for all years 010 and 011. Same formula for gross profit. If I take the total profit, which is now lower, $500,000, and I multiply it times percentage complete, I get 375. But then I, you'll notice in subsequent years I have to subtract off the gross profit from the prior year to get gross profit for the current year, which is 2011. So I wanted to make that distinction. I'm going to put that in bold. We build some and we collected some, which I don't think is as hard to, to follow. Let's look at our 2011 entries. You'll see our construction in progress is the 825 less the 400. For 425, I'm going to scoop this up. So we have construction in progress and we wrote checks to buy materials and labor. Our accounts receivable, we did some billing, not too hard. We get cash in the door, we reduce our receivable. Then with our construction expense, again, construction expense is equal to that same amount we posted to construction in progress, the 425. The construction in progress account gets debited for the gross profit which is right here, the gross profit in the current year, only for 2011. That's a debit to construction in progress or CIP. And then our credit, the revenue long-term contract is the contract price times the percentage complete. And if I click on the cell and I go up, we see it's the 1.6 million times the difference between 75% and 40% which is 35%. So we're multiplying the completed contract times the differences in the percentages, which is 35%. And that's how we get our revenue for 2011. So to quickly finish up, 2012, construction in progress, 245 is the difference between construction to date less the two prior years. That's what the 825 represents. That's how we get construction in progress. We pay cash for material labor. We bill some stuff, account receivable billing. We collect some stuff. Our construction expense is the same as our construction in progress. Our construction in progress is the gross profit for 2012, which again takes our profit calculation for the total project and backs off what we recognized in the prior year to get 155 for our gross profit for 2012. 155 revenue per contract. The contract price, 1.6 million times the difference between 100% and 75%. 400,000. Now our closing entry, and I'll do it in T accounts, is we are going to credit construction in progress to get rid of all of this, which you can see is the same as the contract price. And the debit side of the entry is going to be billings, which also is the contract price, because we billed for the entire project. And we recognize all the expenses and all the gross profit for the project. And if you did your math right, it should add up to $1.6 million. So here's our closing entry. We debit billing to bring it to zero. We credit construction and progress. That's the end of part 23. You can find one to three hour videos available on our website, our YouTube channel. We have a complete list of videos on YouTube on our website for one-on-one -on -one live tutoring and chat sessions, stltest.net. Here's our email address and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.